got a Fender Stratocaster here in blonde. Now this is a 70s reissue. You see, it's got the 70s headstock as well too. Uh, it's a single coil guitar pickup with a tremolo. This has got the vintage style Alnico 5 pickups on the store. Uh, maple neck. This is a great guitar. This is like the the Hendrix beast, you know. Um, it's got the uh, bolt on neck but uh, three pin instead of four was during the 70s that's how they did it they had the three bolt on neck yeah um, it's a great guitar and of course all that blues sort of stuff it's got a great time to know straight yeah. sound. Uh, can't go wrong with a Strat. You got the uh, Gibson Les Paul Custom here. Now this one here is a great guitar. Big solid mahogany body. Double humbucker. Ebony fingerboard. This is a classic guitar. So this is great for like big rhythm sounds and leads as well too. This one that Slash plays? Is yes, it is the one that Slash plays. Something like this. Not exact one, but yeah, something along the line. So you yeah. see this has got a... A lot more bottom end to yeah. the last guitar we've yeah. put in. A lot warmer. You know, these are very versatile guitars. Great for metal, blues, jazz. You can do a lot with a Gibson. So what are the... I noticed the keys up here. Yeah, they're Grover... Um, they're Grover machine heads. Okay. They're um, pretty much like top of the line machine heads. Yep. And uh, yeah, if like the ex for what comes on board with this guitar, you know, great machine heads, yeah. great pickups, hardware is amazing. Yeah, it's a it's a great guitar, it's a good one. Then my favourite, the Paul Reed Smith. This is actually the guitar that I play. Now, the reason why I like this guitar and why I play it is basically you can get. Fender Stratocaster tones, can get Gibson tones, and yeah, everything in between. Now this guitar here, what I've got, you can see is two selector switches. This one here splits everything into single coils, so I can get the sort of tones I was getting off that blonde Stratocaster, the 70s one, that was the first guitar I was showing you. In the middle here, you've got clear humbucking mode, sort of sits in between a Strat and a Gibson. Then here you got your heavy humbucking mode, which is like your Gibson tones, which is like the last guitar I showed you sort of thing. Here you got a five-way selector switch, and that selects between your pickups. But yeah, I mean, the reason why I play this guitar is, is because it, it does a bit of everything all in the one guitar. So I like, I noticed the back of your the neck here. Yep. It's, yeah, it's, it's beautiful. That's beautiful. Brazilian rosewood. Brazilian Rosewood. Yeah, wow. so. Uh, Is that the Charlotte machine heads too? No, the uh, PRS have their own they, machine heads. They look like They're that. a great machine head. They're very easy to um, install strings with okay. this. You don't have to, you know, keep winding and winding. Basically, you just get a 10 cent coin <laughs> or a flathead screwdriver, give it a turn, pop your string through, tighten it with the coin, and you're ready to go. It's a beautiful guitar. Absolutely. Yeah, it's definitely my favourite. It does everything, yeah, from A to Z, definitely. Uh, here, I'll play some tones yeah. for you. So this is like a single coil sound. So that's like your Fender tone we were getting before, your Gibson tone. Yeah, that bottom end again yeah. comes in. So that's like the uh, Gibson Custom sort of sound, or a Gibson of sorts anyway. And then you've got your, you know, your five-way selector switch, so yeah, I know I'm raving on this guitar a bit, I mean, I, I will rate it. It's great for in the studio as well too, you know, when you need to pull up another track, you can easily just go from this switch here to like a single coil and you've got like a totally different sound for your next track. So instead of taking three guitars in, you can just take this beast in and uh, get your Strat tones, your Gibson tones, and yeah. Beautiful. That's a beautiful guitar. Yeah, absolutely. Good. Yeah. That's well, thanks, Andrew, for sharing your information with us. No this worries. This is Kevin Kirgo signing off.